Hey folks, how's everybody making out today? Uh, I hope everyone is well. Um, got a couple of things to go over. I received this, uh, I finally got it in. This, uh, these are the new Shat and Morgan um, knives. Um, they are now being produced um, by Cooper Cutlery. These are handmade, um, produced in the United States of America, um, and they are just absolutely uh, fantastic knives. Um, probably, I'd have to go on a limb and say this is probably one of the best knives, one of the best knives that I've ever handled in my lifetime. Um, I don't think there are many knives out there right now that I could think of that, uh, hits on this kind of quality and fit and finish and just, just everything. Um, I do want to read something that came in the, uh, box. Um, it says, congratulations on your purchase of file and wire knife your file and wire knife file and wire is a registered trademark of cooper cutlery llc and made here in winchester ohio each knife is handmade hand pinned and hand sharpened we use 1095 carbon steel blades now, this is gave me a little bit of the chills. Now, listen to this, guys. File and wire knives all come with a limited lifetime warranty. These are handmade knives here in Winchester, Ohio. Oh, here it is right here. Listen to this. On the old Queen Shat and Morgan machines. These machines made the best knives ever made in the United States, and they are up and running again. They're actually making the knives on the old Shat and Morgan machines. That's just cool, man. That is just really cool. If anything, that's just that's just awesome. Um this knife here is a very large knife. I did not see this knife being this big. I don't know how I missed it. But it was a welcome uh, when I opened the box and I said, what in it? I mean, what could be in here? I didn't know what was, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, we'll start down here on the blade. Uh, it says file and wire, Shat and Morgan tested. Normally they do their uh, blades like that. They stamp them like that. Uh, on the tang, you've got Shat and Morgan, Winchester. I can't read around that. Winchester, Ohio. And on the back side is the best part. Hold on a minute. Is the best part. And it says made in USA. So these knives are actually being built here. Um, they're being um, United um, U.S. Uh, craftsmen are putting this together, and it's just cool. It's just really, really cool. Um, the fit and finish on this is identical to uh, GEC. Uh, there's no difference that I could uh, see here. Look how thick this blade stock is. I've never seen blade stock that thick. I mean, this blade is just, it's a beautiful, beautiful blade. Um, this has got, I believe, buffalo jigging. This has got buffalo jig on it. You've got this beautiful shield. I love those shields. Very simplistic, just to the point. Nothing over the top, nothing... That's why I like this knife so much, because it's not real flashy. It's not real, you know, in your face. It's just a beautiful, 
uh, it's just a beautiful piece. It really is. And I'm just glad that Shat and Morgan is back again. I will be doing my Shat and Morgan collection update. I will, I'll pull them all out. It's time to pull them out and refresh, refresh what I got in there. But I love Shat and Morgan knives. I've always did. And I always will. And uh, this knife has special meaning. It has special meaning to me because I used to really, really enjoy collecting Shat and Morgan knives. I really did. And I fell out of the loop because they just, I don't know. Um, I exactly don't know why I did, but I did. I lost track of them and I wish I didn't, but I did. And when I found these were coming out, I just couldn't believe what I was hearing and what I was seeing with the pictures. Honestly, I went back and looked at that picture about a hundred times because I didn't believe it. I just didn't believe it. I thought that if they made these Chat and Morgans again, they were going to be Chinese produced and all that, like some of the older, some of the other ones. But when I saw that they were bought by Cooper Cutlery and they were just like they were making them back then. USA made um, just, I can't explain it. You've got, they're, they're going to be running all these on 1095 steel. Um, they have another one that's already out. It's the one arm razor. And it's just, they got a couple of it. Um, a couple of one arm razor um um what is it uh i can't explain it they got a couple of different ones out though but they're very very nice like i said um if you guys want to check them out the only place i mean they might be teasing them in like um <sighs> Facebook or Instagram, they got to be coming out soon somewhere. But the only place I seen it was traditional uh, pocketknives.net. Um, but I just wanted to give you a first impressions of it. I'll show you the box real quick. The box is the same box they made from back in the day. I love that box. Uh, let's see what it says. Same box, warranty unconditionally, Shatton Morgan, Winchester, Ohio. Uh, Handmade, hand sharpened, made in the U.S. of A, baby. Look at that. Look at that. And I like these boxes. They're like a, um, they feel real nice. It's like a, um, I can't explain that, that box, but very, very well done on the box there. Look at that. Look at that box, man. Even the box is just super high quality. Very high quality knife here. Um, you can't get, you can't get no higher of a quality of knife than this. You are at the very, very top of your, uh, of the cutlery game at the top. There's nothing that's, there's nothing that's going to, uh, take this down. You've got the beautiful Shat and Morgan, uh, logo right there that they like to put on there. The same thing, man. The same as the old knives. I can't wait to break out all my Shat and Morgans now. Uh, okay, but moving on just for one second, I want to mention something, and I want to give somebody a shout out. And that person is BH. Now BH and I go pretty far back. We are, we have become very good friends over the years, and that guy, I'll tell you right now, that guy is special that's what i'm going to say he's special he got me a beautiful little toy here for my um for my puppy it's oh it's an ultrasonic um squeaker you don't hear it the human does not hear it um but the dog does we are going to have a ball with her later on. My wife is on a meeting uh, call right now, and I'm up here, and I have a couple of things to do, but I'm saving this to give her. See it? Try me. It says, the silent squeaker. Only 
your dog can hear. So if I squeak this right now, I'm not going to hear it. She'll come, she'll come blasting. She'll come running out of nowhere. But look at this. It was the most kindest, generous thing that I could ever, that I could ever um, <coughs> explain, guys. I really. And he also sent me stuff for a giveaway, too. There's people out there like this, guys. There still are people out there. I truly believe it as bad as our, our world is today. And, and <coughs> excuse me. We have to live with a bunch of animals out there. But there are still good people in this world. And I tell you, man, one of them is BH. Uh, he has sent me gifts in the past. He sent me beautiful gifts in the past. And I just honestly can't keep up. I can't. It's not that I can't keep up. I just owe so many people, so many gosh darn things. I'm losing my mind. I don't know where to begin. You know what I mean? I want everybody, you know, to receive something from me. I want everyone to, to show. I want to show my appreciation. I want to show my appreciation. And I'm getting, I'm trying to do every, I'm doing the best I can. I really am. Um, but we're going to get there. I'm, I'm not giving up. I'm not, we're going to get, these people all know who they are, who I'm talking about. They all know who they are. And their patience, and they don't even care about receiving anything. If you really want to get down to it, they don't care about me sending them something, because that's the kind of people they are. I don't personally, I mean, w w would I sit around waiting for somebody to send me something? That's kind of rude, isn't it? Why would somebody do that? I don't expect that kind of stuff. But you do it out of the, 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 the kindness of your heart, you know? You do it because you feel as if it's right. I can't thank you enough, BH. I can't. And uh, words don't express, you know what I mean? You do all this stuff, man. You sent all this stuff in for my giveaway. You sent, you were thinking of my dog, you know? And you guys know my dog is an important, an important part of my life and the way we live, my wife and I. Um, our animals are a big part of us, you know what I mean? We don't do much of anything because we love our dogs so much and we want to be around our dogs all the time. And we don't go on vacations. We have, we can't go on vacation because we got two dogs and we don't even care. We don't even care. We'd rather be with our dogs. I didn't know, you know, I don't really get into it that deep on how much we're into our dogs and stuff like that because people don't, people don't care. But they're a big part of my life. They're a big part of my life. Uh, I think that's it, guys. I think I'm going to let you go. I'm just trying to get this out there and trying to show you first impressions of this. And the next video I do, I'll get them all out tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. I'll do a, a Shat and Morgan uh, video. Show all my Shat and Morgans. I even forget what I have in there. It's been so long since I broke them out. But this is just one of those pieces where um, it's over and beyond. I mean, it's as really, it's an extremely rare, this is going to be an extremely rare piece of cutlery. And it's just a special, it's a special piece. That's all I could say. And I think in closing for $200, you, that's, that's a fantastic deal for this knife. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I don't know how you guys think if the $200 is worth it, but pff, man, it's a big, big, beautiful piece, man. Big piece of 1095 steel here. Buffalo jigging on it. I mean, you got every, there's nothing that's missing with this piece for $200. You better get to the bank and withdraw some money.
All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Uh, I appreciate you sticking with me. Please, uh, <laughs> I say it all the time, drop me a comment, man. I really want to know what you think about this piece, please, if you can. You know what I mean? It's just, I want to know what you are thinking. All right, guys, be good, be well, be safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.